Do you know how to tell us the story of how Brock Lesnar almost killed you breaking your face? Eric wants to know. Yeah. So we were, um, in Halifax and, um, there was a scene with the FBI, the full blooded Italians, and they had taken a tow truck and blocked the door that they had tricked Brock to go into and so on and so forth. And the person that built the door and built the room for Brock to go into, um, it left very much to be desired. And when the tow truck hit the door, it kind of caved it in a little bit. So when everything's all said and done, it's like the, the walls in the room is starting to cave in on Brock who's inside. And the incompetent person in charge of this got on the tow truck and started to back it up when the only thing holding the walls up was the fact that this tow truck was in it and holding the walls up. You know what I mean? The pressure of the tow truck was now it had broken everything, but it was at least holding the walls up when he starts to back it up. Now there's no support for the walls and they start falling in even more. So, like screaming, stop! This, you know, it's all going to cave cave in on him. So, Brock, man, he's like, he's kind of trapped. And he just started breaking his way out. And when he did, the big piece of uh, sheetrock came and smashed me in the face. And basically broke my face, broke my nose in three different places, uh, shattered my orbital. Um this sinus caved in, my left side sinus caved in. And yeah, it basically broke my face. But it, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't intentional. He had no idea. Um, and I had no idea how badly I was hurt. You know, it's, it's one of those, you get popped in the nose and your eyes start to water. So my eyes are watering and I don't realize that it's not just water. It's a lot of blood. Mm. And... Big Show was right there. And Big Show like had me by my shoulders and was like, Bruce, you need to sit down. I go, no, nah, fuck, I got to look at this. And um, I'm I'm worried about Brock. You know, because I'm like, dude, are you all right? Jesus Christ. You know, I'm, I'm worried about him because the damn thing's caving in on him, right? And uh, I'm going to try and watch him. Big Show, like, just manhandles me and basically sits me down. And I'm looking up at him and I realize like I could only see out of my right eye and the other one's kind of fuzzy and all the shit. And he goes, dude, and they're like calling for the doctor and everything to come over. And I'm like, what are you doing? And I look down, I'm wearing a light blue denim shirt and the whole left side of it is just covered in blood. And about this time, Taker was there, and Taker came over, and now Brock's over there, and Brock's like, oh, my God, you know, what happened? I'm like, dude, I'm fine, because you're not fine. And so then they get me, and they they took me in a room, and now I get to look at it and see it first time in the mirror. It was gruesome. It was great. But, uh, that, that yeah, that's what happened. I mean, total accident, and, uh, and Brock Lesnar, you know, the human being, uh, being who he is, was felt horrible about it. And by the time that I got home, had like uh, two gigantic boxes of just uh, lobsters and crabs from this place that we like to go in Seattle at Pike Place Fish. And, uh, and that was waiting for me with a, with a nice note from him. And I was like... <laughs> Again, it was an accident. It was a freak accident. Now, stupidity on the guy who set up the room, but, you know, on Brock's part, just uh, he was getting the hell out of there and shit happens. Uh, what did the note say? Sorry for breaking your face. Enjoy this lobster. Uh, here's looking at you, kid. Oh, I love that. With the eye all messed up and everything. 